Hi, welcome to the channel. So today we're talking about the three mistakes women make in dating. And I have to say, I see this all the time and I just wish, you know, we would, everyone, every woman, every dater would know these things so that we can get to that end point and we can meet that person so much quicker. Number one, the number one mistake I see people make is, you know, they don't set boundaries. They don't set expectations. People treat you you know, you teach people how you want to be treated by the way you treat yourself. So if you don't like someone who arranges a date with you at the last minute, you have to tell them or in there's certain ways of doing it. But a lot of women will then just, you know, kind of glow, go with the flow, make up excuses. And when you do this, you're accepting bad behavior. So you're telling, if you accept a date at the very last minute, you're telling the guy that it's totally okay uh, to not plan in advance and that if he were to, if you were a last minute option, that it would be okay because you would still say yes. And the more you do this, the more you train people how to treat you. And it's not that these people, these guys are bad guys, it's just they have not been told and communicated in how you want to be treated. So a lot of women, you know, they want a guy who takes the lead, who plans a date, who um, makes plans weeks in advance, who, who gets in touch, but they're afraid to, they're afraid to ask for it and think that they'll chase these guys away. But instead what you're doing is you're attracting really low level relationships. So, you know, don't be afraid to ask for what you want because when you do, it will come and you will find it so much faster. The second thing is we, the second um, mistake that women make in dating is that they date from a place of fear, that they're running out of time and that, you know, if it's not this guy, you can end up forever. But what happens is you end up dating these guys who aren't right for you and you're dating them just because you want to settle down and get married and have kids. You're not dating them because they would make a, a potential partner. And there's a huge flaw in this because once you get to that end point and get married, you realize that, you know, this guy isn't compatible and you end up going through a divorce. And I'm seeing this happen now, you know, now that I'm in my um, 30s, so many of my acquaintances and friends who've gotten married early on are now, you know, experiencing these issues because they rushed into getting married. So that's the second mistake, dating someone just to get to the next stage in life. The third mistake is, you know, being in your masculine and not taking, not letting a guy lead in a relationship. So I think as women, we kind of over compromise for the people who don't show up for us. So if a guy isn't showing initiative to chase or take the relationship forward, then we, um, you know, women take the, have a tendency to do it ourselves. So if he's not chasing us, if he's not texting us, well, fine. It's 2018, right? So then you go ahead and you do all the texting and you do all the chasing. And in the end, if you're looking for a masculine man to, you know, court you and to woo you and to take the lead, this isn't really it. And, and at the end, you end up compromising on what you really want. So these are the three main things, the three main dating mistakes that women make. And, you know, it, it can all be changed. It's really, really a matter of reframing your mind and changing your mindset so that you know, you don't feel like you're running out of time. You're no longer anxious and you know it's just gonna happen for you. So I've got a 14 day challenge, uh, it's called Mindset Makeover, and a mini course for you to take to attract the healthy relationship that you want and to do it quite quickly. I've had students who've taken this course and really just have seen their love lives changed in a matter of you know four to six weeks. So if you put in the work, it can really happen to you for you, I mean, you just need to set the intention. So I'll leave the links below, and as I mentioned before, I'm gonna be vlogging once every week now. It's highly ambitious, but I'm gonna do it. So if you liked this video and you find it helpful, please subscribe, um, and if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, bye.